Hi, this is Nate with Keysoft Solutions with another short video to help get you up and running with your new Keyscape LandCAD purchase. In this video, we're going to go through installing the product and activating the product for the first time. In a previous video, we went over how to set up your support login page, uh, access your download, and access your activation codes. So I've already downloaded the program. It's on my desktop here. Um, I also um, need to go to the support page and log into my account to access my activation code when I get to that point. It's also important to note at this point um, what version of AutoCAD you have installed. If you're installing the full version of Keyscape LandCAD, uh, I have 2016 installed on this machine. Uh, if you have multiple versions of AutoCAD installed, it's going to prompt you uh, which one uh, you um, prefer it be installed with, associated with. So I'm going to go ahead and double click my installer, get that running. You want to make sure that your user account, your Windows user account, uh, gives you full access to uh, uh, your machine. It's best to install this under an administrator account. All right, um, here is the installer. I'm just going to select the defaults. Uh, this is installing the license server drivers. This is installing the database drivers. It just takes a second. I'll pause through some of this so we don't have to sit through all of the, the loading process. Uh, terms and conditions, read through those, accept that. This is the default location we're installing Keysoft uh, products, Keyscape LandCAD, in your program files folder. That's fine. This is the data that's associated with your program. So your database, uh, your block libraries, your symbol libraries are going to be here. Program data, Keyscape application data. That's fine. All right, I had paused uh, the recording while I was going through the installation. Uh, then this popped up. This is an important prompt for us here in the United States uh, to include Imperial information uh, in the database. So let's hit yes to that. And that's going to begin um, merging our database with the Imperial uh, unit information. All right, the installer has completed. It's prompting me to restart my computer. Uh, which I do recommend doing before launching for the first time just to ensure that you're starting with a clean slate. So I'll pause quickly, restart, and come right back. Now I've moved my new uh, Keyscape LandCAD icon to the center of the screen for, to make it easier to see. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and launch it for the first time. Uh, this is menu that comes up the first time you run the program. Uh, it lets you path your databases if, if you do have those located in, in a custom location, uh, such as if you have a network installation. But for this demonstration, you probably have them located on your local machine for now. And this pull down here, if we're in the uh, the U.S., we probably don't need KeyTree. Uh, that's a feature that's, that's embedded with this installer, but is only applicable in the U.K. market. And here we see it's associated with my AutoCAD 2016. So on your first run, you're going to be prompted with uh, uh, the licensing system interface here. Um, we want to go ahead and activate right now, so I'm going to click the Activate button. And that's going to open this window here, Activation Code. If you jotted that down, uh, from your support page, enter that here. I'm actually going to jump over to my support page and I'll just highlight that. Hit copy, minimize, and paste. Click OK. And that's going to contact the Keysoft Solutions license server. If you don't have a internet connection on the machine you're installing on, you can do a manual installation that will generate a um, we call it a, a C2V file, and you will uh, 
then email that to us from a machine that does have internet access. Here we go, we're uh, installing all the new ribbons for the first time. All right, AutoCAD has finished loading. All the modules are visible up here on the, um, the ribbon tabs. Um, I'm just going to click on Softworks and choose a function here. Looks like we're up and running. Uh, we're good to go.